I'm Johnny Fox. We're here at Space Gallery for Some Assembly Required, which is an exhibition I put together uh, featuring these lovely people, which were some of the first people I ever exhibited my art with in Southern California. This is Ben McGinty, David Lovejoy, Kate Cavallis, Jeffrey Kibb, and Jim Hegg. The art. Uh, it's an entirely mixed media show, assemblage art. Um, my inspiration behind it was this man right here. Uh, he threw me into the gauntlet of assemblage art with an exhibition he curated in 2010 called uh, Circus Sometime, uh, which was my first my first attempt at assemblage, and I fell in love with it and have based my schooling and artwork around it since. I, um, I'm Ben McGinty and uh, I used to um, run, speak up. I ran um, Gallery at the End of the World where everybody here except Jim used to show for many years. Um, I'd always kind of put things together, um, always kind of like collected and kind of just fell into being that it's uh, art now. So just all of a sudden, it's like, well, now I can hang it on a wall instead of just keep it in boxes. So it's really great. This is the first exhibit outside of a gallery that I haven't created show for me. So yeah, so this is the first show outside. So it's great to be here. Thank you, Johnny. Oh, you're more than yeah. welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Well, as uh, Ben mentioned, we all met at a gallery that he used to run, and when I landed there, I was basically a clay artist, and meeting all these people and seeing all the different stuff that they did kind of gave me permission to expand what I did as well. So at that point, I became a, an assemblage artist in addition to the other stuff that I did. But uh, it's fun just to be here with this group kind of reunited. Hi, I'm Kate. Again, you already knew that. Um, I started making assemblage art back in about 2007 when I first discovered it and fell in love with it. And then I met these guys at Gallery at the End of the World and that is the place where I really started to show my work and meet artists and get involved and I still love assemblage and find stuff on the street and make stuff out of it. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. <laughs> I am Jeffrey Kibbe. Um I first showed at Ben's, I think, back in probably 94. <laughs> way, way back. I've known Ben forever. I was 12 when I first met Ben, I think. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm an assemblage artist. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm happy that I'm here at this show with all these guys. They're great friends and phenomenal artists. and. Really enjoying myself. Thanks. I am Jim, and I'm new to the group. <laughs> uh, I I like making sculpture and uh, trying to put <clears throat> put your heart into to something, you know. And try and share ideas, and uh, I'm pumped to be here. Right. We can all just say we're all naturally talented. Well, for, for myself, um, I remember my favorite part of preschool being finger painting. Uh, and, you know, growing up in Canada, I was in an art class every year up until I graduated high school. Um, but my oldest sister, uh, Jessica, is actually the one who got me into art where I started thinking about it as a career. Um, you know, she introduced me to all these amazing artists that I'd never heard about. And by fourth grade, I was trying to copy uh, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Leonardo's drawings in, in a notepad while all my friends were watching Ninja Turtles. And so I think, I think it was at that point that, you know, I, I unconsciously decided to be 
a full-time artist. Uh, 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 what was the question again? How did you get into art? What do you do? Oh, you know, when wasn't I? I just didn't. <laughs> I just didn't know it. I mean, I just you know, um, I created environments, and I didn't realize I was creating environments. I just kind of did it. Just kind of came along, and I mean. You know, you get a drywall, you get drywall screws, a screw gun, and bailing wire, and you can almost make anything. Um, as long, you know, thank goodness we don't have hurricanes here. <laughs> but um, uh, you know, it just it, it just kind of evolved because I mean, I started with clay, I started making tiles, and then kind of merged into assemblage because I always collected stuff. I always, you know, as Jeffrey knows, I mean. There's always been stuff around my, my place. It's just kind of like accumulated. There's still stuff around my place. <laughs> Ask Jim. Stuff He's, I, <laughs> stuff I want. <laughs> no, but um, you know, I just I, I have an affinity for putting little bits together, and but it just when it comes together and goes together, it, it's it feels like it's meant to be together. It's finally these things at one time had a different life, and now we give them new meaning. We put them into um, a space that they now can have other functions and uh, uh, life. Uh, what Ben said. <laughs> no, I, um, I've always worked in creative fields. I've worked in printing and graphic design and uh, that for a living. And then about eight years ago, I had an opportunity to move out of state for a little while and just pursue my art full time. And I've been doing that since and grateful for the opportunity. Um, yeah, I think I've been an artist since I was little. In kindergarten, the art cart coming in once a week was like the most exciting thing ever. Um, and I probably would have gone to art school out of high school, but I didn't have the courage. So I'm a, kind of a late bloomer. I didn't start allowing myself to create till 2006. And it started out as um, craft. And then it just kind of ended up moving into fine art. I made a collage once, and my friend who was a teacher and a fine artist said, you just moved from craft into fine art. And I said, I did. So, um, and then I discovered assemblage, and that was kind of the end of that, because I just was like, oh my god, I can make stuff out of stuff that doesn't even belong together. And so, um, yeah, I've been hooked since. And I'm pl proud to be a part of the show. Actually, my story is similar to Ben's in that I started out as a painter um, for many years and then I discovered one morning that my environments that I was building around me were actually could be turned into pieces of art. Um, so that's how I started in assemblage and sculpture was basically little things that I had set up almost like dioramas within my living space, um, I decided to turn them into actual pieces of art. So that's how it started for me. Yeah, I've been building my whole life like, uh, like everyone here. Uh, I think what I'm <clears throat> attracted to as an adult though is um, the lifestyle and the community. Um, and I've always wanted to make, make my own rules for my life and I feel like in uh, this is one place, one way that you can do that, uh, and it's not you know, you're 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 the boss. You're the boss of whatever you're making, which is great. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh, my goodness. No. Uh, the one thing I can say is, is that you've got to jump into it and you've got to make your own mistakes and you've got to find your own way. And you've got to find the niche that it is for you. And um, you absorb what you can from your colleagues. But realistically, advice, I mean, you can tell anybody to do anything that they want to do, but realistically, you're going to have to, like anything, you have to venture out on your own and you have to come up with what it is that um, works for you and what doesn't work for you and how you want to go about it. 
And you can either starve or you can starve. So, or but, live in a trailer behind an art gallery for <laughs> four years. So, but there's, there's, there's a lot of things to learn, but I think most people it, that you get into the arts find that they have to, um, they make their own way in a way, because you can't, you can't tell someone, don't do this, don't do that. I mean, at least I couldn't. I mean, you guys might have a little different advice, but um, as no, far as I mean, I'm I, concerned, I, you... I think you hit the nail on the head with that one. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anything else? I'd say yeah. Now, if you want to see the show, can you give us a location? Oh, yeah. Oh. Show? Yeah. Uh, Thank you Christina. Yeah, Christina, you should be in on this. Get in here, yeah. And Christina enters frame. <laughs> this. I've never been on this side of this. Me before. neither. Uh, this is Christina. We're at her gallery, Space Gallery, downtown Pomona, 250 West 2nd Street. Uh, the show is running until the 4th of July, and I don't know what the gallery hours are. <laughs> yeah, we'll be here uh, at, as, you know, Inter not extended hours. On 4th but of July. intermittently, check yeah. the Facebook. Check the website and the Facebook, website. and there'll be hours. Dash what's the website? Christina, once again, what's the name of the show? The show is Some Assembly Required, curated by Johnny Fox. And how can we get a hold of you, your um, basically through um, Space Pomona, we're on Facebook at Space Pomona, um, and basically our, our website, which is uh, WordPress.com, so SpacePomona.WordPress.com. Yeah. Thank All right, thank you. you for your time. Okay. To me and, uh, <laughs> thank you for letting us. I really us. love the show. And yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, spending more time. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank Thanks, you. Michael. Thank you. Thank Bye. You.